Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson we are studying multiplication word problems. And as you already know, multiplication has to do with situations where we have many things and each of those things has the same amount. For example, I have here four houses and in each of those houses there are five people living in them. So we can write a multiplication. Four, because there are four houses, times five, because there are five people in each. And then we multiply and we get 20. There are 20 people in total in those houses. Okay? So here we have now some word problems. And let's see what we find. Cindy put marbles in bags. Ten in each of the four bags. Notice this word each, okay? Each, each bag has the same amount of marbles, okay? Or she has many bags and the bags are the same. Okay, four bags, ten in each. So we can write the multiplication for the total number of marbles. We have four bags and then ten in each. So four times ten equals forty marbles in total. Mum made two veggie pizzas and two chicken pizzas. For each pizza, she cut up two hot peppers. Okay? It doesn't have a question for us, but what can we find out? What could we calculate? We know how many pizzas, right? Or do we not know? We don't know... Aha! Uh -huh. How many hot peppers? Yeah, Matthew told me. Do you like hot peppers, Matthew? No, he's, he doesn't like them. Well, I like hot peppers just fine. So let's count, or let's calculate, I should say, how many hot peppers. And we're going to use multiplication. Because there are how many pizzas? And how many hot peppers in each? There are two veggie pizzas, two chicken pizzas. So four pizzas and two hot peppers in each. Okay, there's the word each again. Four pizzas and two hot peppers in each of the pizzas, so we get eight hot peppers in total. Danny bought three cell phone skins for four dollars each. Okay, and what would be his total cost? We can use multiplication. There are three, three things, and they each cost the same amount. Okay, so we can multiply to find the total cost. Three times four dollars this time. And our answer is then in dollars, the total cost is $12. Okay, this was pretty easy. Let's go on. Over here, to find the total number of people in these houses, we need to use both multiplication and addition. For these houses here, we can use multiplication, right? Just like before. The people in those houses are 4 times 5 people. And then we need to add the people in this house, we add those seven people, right? And this is 20 and then seven, so we get 27 people in total. Here's another situation where we're gonna use addition too. Let's say we wanna find the total cost. And of course you could add all these numbers, you know, it's not that difficult. But I want you to learn to write a multiplication and addition for the problem. So what multiplication shall I write? First of all, these scissors, the cost of the scissors. There's three scissors times two dollars each pair of scissors. Then I add the cost of those toy cars. There are four cars times three dollars each, right? And so now we get here six and here twelve, and then add six plus twelve equals eighteen dollars. And lastly, we have a word problem that Mathy provided for us. So thank you, Mathy. Mathy bought three puzzle books again. He loves puzzle books. For six dollars each and two sets of pencils for four dollars each. What was his total cost? Okay, now you write or tell me a multiplication and addition for the total cost, okay? Three puzzle books. And they cost the same each, so we multiply. There's the word each there. Like this, right? And then and, there's the and, so we add 
those two sets of pencils that cost four dollars each. And here's 18, here's 8. And then we add. So that's easy. $26 total cost. Okay, we're all done with this list.